I felt like I was caught in a whirlwind of my mother's desires. She had always yearned for a daughter, and it seemed she was determined to mold me into one. For months now, I'd been taking female hormones, watching my body transform. My hair had grown out, and my wardrobe had slowly been replaced with girls' clothes. My mother had christened me, Mandy, on the days when she dressed me up, and I went along with it to keep her happy. When she approached me with the idea of modeling dresses in the prom show at the mall, my heart raced with fear. I was terrified that someone would see through my disguise and discover I was a boy. But my mother reassured me, saying no one would know, that I had become too much of a girl to go back to being a boy. As I stood backstage, dressed in a strapless pink dress, I couldn't help but feel a surge of femininity. The soft fabric clung to my body, and the heels on my feet accentuated my newfound grace. My hair and makeup were meticulously done, transforming me into a vision of a prom-ready girl. As I stepped out onto the stage, the spotlight blinding me momentarily, I felt a strange mix of fear and excitement. Walking down that runway, feeling like a real girl on her prom night, was a sensation I never expected to experience. And to my surprise, I found myself enjoying it, even as I grappled with the complexities of my identity and my mother's relentless desires. The applause and cheers from the audience washed over me, and I realized that in that moment, I was living a double life. By day, I was Matt, a young man struggling to reconcile my mother's wishes with my own identity. But on that stage, under the spotlight, I was Mandy, a confident, prom-ready girl who felt a sense of liberation. As the prom show continued, I began to let go of my worries. I twirled in my pink dress, letting the fabric swirl around me as I moved gracefully. The thrill of being someone else, even temporarily, was exhilarating. The more I embraced this new persona, the more I realized how comfortable I felt in the role of Mandy. After the show, as I changed back into my regular clothes, my mother beamed with pride, oblivious to the internal struggle I was facing. She saw her dream fulfilled in those moments, but I was left with a growing sense of confusion about my own identity. In the days that followed, I couldn't stop thinking about that night. The allure of being Mandy, of feeling like a girl, tugged at my heartstrings. It was a secret I couldn't share with anyone, especially not my mother. But it was a secret that made me question who I truly was and what I wanted in life. As time passed, I realized that I needed to have a conversation with my mother, to explain the turmoil I was going through, and to find a way to navigate a path that was true to me, not just the image she had in mind. It was a journey of self-discovery and understanding that I knew wouldn't be easy, but it was a path I needed to take to find my own identity and happiness.